hey guys welcome back to my channel this is me be here again with another tutorial in today's video we're going to be learning all about how to make a bucket hat i was up to date with the last big brother ninja reunion show and that show anyway we are not talking about big brother ninja in today's video i'm going to be showing you all how to make a bucket hat i saw v wearing this very beautiful black bucket hat on one of the episodes and she looked absolutely badass in that particular bucket hat so i took it upon myself to make sure i figured out how to make a perfect bucket hat i did it i figured it out and in today's video we're going to be learning all about how to make a perfect bucket hat i made up to four different bucket hats before i finally got the code so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all the secrets to making a perfect bucket hat free of charge if you're watching this video right now and you're yet to be subscribed to this channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button because we share awesome tips and videos and diy tutorials like this on here on this channel also if at the end of the day you enjoyed watching and you learned something from this particular video please don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up now that all that is said and done let's get straight into today's tutorial all right guys so we are going to start off by using this particular pattern i'm going to have it linked in the description box this pattern saved my life it came in very very handy i got it while trying to figure out how to make a perfect fit of a bucket hat for myself i found it on generation diy's youtube channel on here and yeah i'm going to link it for you guys in the description box be sure to go download it if you want to make a bucket hat for this particular bucket hat there's two lines right so you can either decide to cut on the first line or on the second line you can increase the length right the width of your yeah the dimensions given to you if you feel like this particular dimension is too small for you but my head is 23 inches the, my head circumference is 23 inches and this particular piece of pattern fitted my head perfectly or it fits my head perfectly i don't know the correct english you guys should correct me anyway so yeah i'm going to link this particular pattern in the description box be sure to download it i got it from this website called essential diy or something like that so yeah you want to cut up this particular pattern i tried at first the main reason why i made a lot of mistakes was i was trying to form innovation right i was trying to download my own pattern and you know start from scratch and all of that but i just found that that thing was not easy okay this particular pattern came through for me so yeah now that i'm done cutting up the patterns i'm going to go straight to cutting these patterns on my fabric so for making a bucket hat you need three different patterns right so you need the pattern for the top which is this circle you also need the one for the body which is the round piece you see it when you download the pattern basically and then there's the brim part so that part that is going to fall over on your head or fall over on your face that's the part where we call the brim so you are going to need those three patterns to get your bucket hat so what i'm doing now is i have my top pattern right the circle top i have it pasted on this jeans fabric because i want my bucket hat to be reversible i want to be able to wear it in two different ways so i have two different fabrics that i'm going to be cutting up the patterns on so for this top part this circle top you need just two pieces so you need one piece for the first fabric you're using and then another piece for the second fabric that you plan to use for your reversible bucket hat while the remaining two which is the brim and the body of the bucket hat you are going to cut two pieces each because you're joining them together we'll get to that part as we go along in this video but make sure you cut two pieces so if you're using um two different fabrics you're going to cut two pieces of these two parts now the brim and the body you're going to cut two pieces each from each of the fabrics so in total you're going to have four pieces right so two for each fabric that you're using i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so that's exactly what i'm doing here i'm cutting up my patterns feel free to pin your pattern on your fabric just do whatever works for you just make sure that what you're doing is you're trying to cut up the fabric that you need for making your pocket hat so while i'm cutting my fabric while you guys are watching me cut my fabric if this is your first time stopping by my channel i'm sorry i didn't say hi earlier on my name is fumi b and i enjoy making diy videos for you guys on here on my channel that is the center focus of my channel occasionally i share hair tutorials i share vlogs on here but yeah that happens occasionally the main focus of my channel is videos like this where i share how to make beautiful pieces for yourself or your loved ones or your clients or your friends and all of that on here on my channel so if you enjoy or you've been enjoying what you've been hearing from me so far please be sure to hit the subscribe button and join me in this beautiful family that i'm growing on here on youtube all right guys what i'm doing here now is i went ahead to press the fabrics that i'm using to make my bucket hat and they are very nice and smooth as you can see so i'm pairing up the brim and the body piece of my bucket hat so 
right sides facing each other we are going to go and join them on the sides so we are going to see everything i'm going to carry you guys along in this whole tutorial so please be sure to not skip any part okay so you don't have to be asking questions that have already been mentioned in the video so i'm pinning them up because pinning like i always say is your best friend so you pin them up on the sides once that is done you've paired everything right side facing each other and everything is looking smooth and beautiful it will be time for us to go to our sewing machine for this particular tutorial you are going to need a sewing machine okay i wish i could tell you you could hand sew i mean you could try it right never say never it might work for you but i would advise that you have a sewing machine so i am here now on my sewing machine and i'm joining those fabrics that i paired together right side facing each other i'm joining them along the sides right you don't want to sew it all around you're joining just on the side to give you one piece okay one circular or is it cylindrical piece now i don't know what to call that shape but you want to join them on the sides leave that opening because that's the opening that's going to sit on your head when you go ahead to wear your bucket hat so just go ahead and do that sew it on half of an inch or quarter of an inch just make sure you're not going past half of an inch so as neatly as possible and then once that is done I know that you're feeling everything i'm explaining to you guys so what i'm doing here is i'm pinning my circle top to the body now we're not joining it to the brim yet the brim is the last thing you're going to join to form your bucket hat so i'm joining this my circle to the so with the circle there's a part that is wider at the bottom and then there's the shorter or smaller circle at the top when you open up your fabric after joining it on the side you're joining this your circle top to the smaller portion of that body that you join together so this is what it's supposed to look like it's supposed to already look like a cap by the time you pin it all around so once that is done you're going to join that circle onto the body piece that you sewed earlier on so that's exactly what i'm doing here and i'm going to be sewing on quarter of an inch feel free to also sew on half of an inch but as much as possible try not to sew past half of an inch half of an inch is the maximum sewing allowance that we have for this particular piece so that's exactly what i'm doing here going around as carefully as possible and i don't like to sew on pins right some people can you know sew with their machine and then go over the pins but i just find that that just breaks my needle and just makes sewing very frustrating for me so i like to just pull out my pins as i go along in sewing and once that is done i'm going to repeat it on the second um cap on the second bucket hat i'm going to join the circle onto the body of the bucket hats that we're trying to create for ourselves also another thing i'd like to point out is if you want your bucket hat to have some kind of structure to it because mine is kind of soft it just feels like fabric if you want it to be more structured and very firm and thick and all of that feel free to press on and interfacing to each piece so so to the circle to the body and to the brain press on a good interfacing so your gum stay your cloth gum maybe not color stay right color stays too thick so just look for a very nice and friendly interfacing interfacing for those who are new to sewing is something that you just use to give your fabric rigidity and structure so if you feel like whatever fabric you're using is too soft and you want to give it some kind of structure you press on what we call an interfacing and there's so many different types of interfacing we have cloth gum we have gum stay we have air stay there's so many right so it all depends on what you're trying to achieve that is going to determine what type of interfacing you use for whatever projects they are trying to create for yourself all right guys so it's time for us to join the brim to the body that we already joined together so so far what we've done is we've sewn our circle to the body of our bucket hat so now it's time for us to join the brim for us to form a full-blown bucket hat so like i always say or like i've been saying join your fabrics together first of all by pinning it together and then look at it to be sure that everything looks perfect before you now start to sew if you join your fabric together and then you don't look at it before sewing you might realize that you already made a mistake and to now start loosening that stitch and all of that might be very stressful so i always advise pin first of all look at what you've done they now start to sew so that's exactly what i did there now it's time for me to sew and as usual sew as carefully as fast as you can or as slow as you can depending on how much of a you know guru you are at sewing but i always like you, you know take things slowly so you have a very beautiful work 
done at the end of the day so that's exactly what i'm doing here this is another call to action if you've made it up to this point in this video and you're yet to hit the subscribe button i mean i'm sure you've been enjoying what i've been teaching you on this channel so please be sure to hit the subscribe button join me in this beautiful family also type the bell notification right beside the subscribe button that bell helps you know every single time i drop a new video on here on my channel i drop two videos every week on here so please be sure to join me like this video also liking the video helps other people find my tutorials find my videos and find my channel in general and it just helps to grow my channel it helps us get to the promised land on here on youtube all right guys so i'm doing the exact same thing i did previously with the other bucket hat i'm doing it to this other piece that is going to serve as the reversible part of my bucket hat i'm joining the brim to the body and the circle top and now that i'm done i'm cutting it up and yeah this is what we have here so now we are going to join right sides facing each other and the seams of the two sides should be facing each other as well make sure that everything is aligning properly this bucket hat is quite easy to make if you follow everything i'm sharing with you all in this video it won't take you what maybe like 30 35 minutes you'll be done if you're following everything to the T. So you're joining the seams to each other. Make sure that the seams are not, not aligning. Make sure that the seams are aligning, the right sides are facing each other. And then pin again, pinning, pinning, pinning. That's the main secret of achieving a very beautiful result with this bucket hat. So pin your bucket hat all around the two pieces that you join together to form one single bucket hat. Pin them together all around and make sure that you leave about two to three inches of space when sewing that part that you just pinned together leave that space to help you turn your bucket hat inside out because we want our bucket hat to be reversible you want to be able to wear it on either side so on one side or the other side it still looks very good so make sure you leave some space for turning the fabric inside out and then i'm also going to show you guys how you close up that space after turning your bucket hat inside out so what all i'm doing here is just taking my time to pin 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 all around All right, guys, so now that I'm done painting, I'm going to leave this particular space right here that I'm pointing out to you guys. That's the space I'm going to use to turn my bucket hat inside out. So you backstitch, then you now start to sew all around that part that you pin together. You're sewing on half of an inch. Also, another tip I would have loved to, you know, use while making mine for myself, but I mean, I'm just going to share that tip with you guys. Feel free to press or sew on some kind of hemming glue to the edge of your bucket hat that hemming glue is just going to allow your bucket hat to lay very flat you are going to press i don't know if you guys know how to use a hemming glue so the hemming glue is just supposed to help your hemming look very neat and precise so after sewing on your hemming glue you now take your bucket hat to your 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 ironing board and then press it really really well i didn't do that to mine it was after i made mine that i realized that mm, maybe i could have used a hemming glue at the edge of my bucket hat but when you guys are re like recreating yours feel free to use a hemming glue to just allow the edge of your bucket hat lay very very flat so all i'm doing here is just you know notching my fabric to allow for very a very smooth edge basically so you want your edge to be able the edge of your bucket hat to lay very very flat so i'm just notching it to allow it to lay very flat when i decide to turn my you know turn my bucket hat inside out and i also have a pin sticking in there so i removed it and yeah it's time for me to turn my bucket hat inside out through that space that i told us to leave at the beginning so we're turning the fabric inside out is pretty easy because i mean two to three inches is more than enough for you to be able to turn the bucket hat inside out and voila guys we are done this is the finished result this is our bucket hat our reversible bucket hat so i can wear it with this patterned side and i can also wear it with the jean side you know either way it still looks absolutely beautiful so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead to press my bucket hat first of all close the space right <laughs> you don't want to forget to close the space that you have left the space you left earlier on for turning the bucket hat inside out so you're going to close that edge make sure that you're sewing as close to the edge as possible you want it to be very very close that's like one eighth of an inch so try to just take your time and do that and once that is done that's finally the end of making this beautiful bucket hat and yeah this is me guys i made this bag as well i'm going to share the tutorial on how you can make this very beautiful picnic bag for yourself so on days when you have a lot of things to carry out maybe you're going to the beach or whatever 
this particular bag is going to come in handy and i'm also wearing my bucket hat as well you can tell that i'm very excited okay i'm so glad that i'm in i made most of the things i'm wearing and i look absolutely beautiful all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you made it up to this point and you're yet to be subscribed to this channel please be sure to smash the subscribe button join us also tap the bell notification so you don't miss any tutorial that i bring on here for you guys like i said earlier i'm going to be showing you how to make that beautiful bag i showed you guys earlier on so keep an eye out for that also like this video liking this video is very very important i always emphasize it thank you guys again for watching this video thank you for the love and support that you guys continue to show to me and yeah guys i can't wait to see you guys in my next tutorial love and appreciate you guys bye Mwah.